Hello everyone, it's Georgia. It's time for some drama. Um, today in drama, we are going to do a voice warm up. We are going to do a body warm up. We are going to play a couple of games and we will do a relaxation. Okay, everyone, it's time for our body warm up. So if you can find a space, hopefully you can see me. Okay, we are going to warm up our body. First of all, let's have a shake, 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 shake all over. Shake our shoulders, shake our arms. Let's shake one leg and shake the other leg and stretch up tall, reach up onto your tippy toes and reach out wide and touch the floor and let's do that one more time so reach up to the sky reach up tall, reach to the sides really wide stretch and down to the floor and let's have a shake down here so down shake into the floor and roll up nice and slowly okay next we're going to warm up our hands so let's do some lights and let's go round in a circle and round in a circle from our elbows and really big circles lovely and next one, hands on our hips. We're going to go side to side. Side to side. And we're going to go round in a big circle. Round in a big circle. And the other way. Change direction. Good. And let's do a little jumps on the spot. And let's do some star jumps. And I feel warm. I hope you feel warm too. And you're feeling good. Body warm up, done. Okay, everyone, it's time for our voice warm up. So first of all, we are going to make a really big wide face. Okay, as big as possible. Open your mouths and go, ah lovely and screw up your faces make it really small and nice big wide face again and a small face lovely and we are going to poke our tongue out can you try and touch your nose and try and touch your chin with your tongue Lovely. We are going to make our mouth into a washing machine. So our tongue is going to go round and round and round one direction. Ready? And change direction. Go the other way. You look a bit silly, but it's okay. Lovely. And let's do our bee exercise. So for this, we imagine there is a bee in the sky and we go Then we catch it, put it in our mouth and we chew it. Really big chews, ready? Good girl. Then we swallow it. Rub it our tummy, oh. The bee tasted good. Mmm. And then it wants to come back up. Good. Let's do that one more time. So B following our finger. Catch it. Put it in your mouth. Chew. Swallow. And rub our tummy. Mmm, tastes good. Mine tastes of pizza. Mmm. And it's coming back up. 
Lovely. Okay, last vocal exercise. We are going to make a hum noise and we're going to hold it for as long as we possibly can. So we need to make sure we take a big breath from our tummy. So we're going to go big breath in and we go hum. Mm, keep going. Keep going. Mm. So you have no breath left. Let's do it one more time. Ready? Big breath in. Mm, keep going. Mm. Oh, have you finished yet? Are you still humming? I can't tell. <laughs> okay, that's us done with a vocal warm up. Hello everyone. So our first game is called Opposites. So for this game, you need to do the opposite of what I say. So if I say, sit down, you stand up. If I say, stand up, you sit down. If I say clap, you stamp your feet. If I say stamp, you clap your hands. If I say stop, you go and you're going to run on the spot. If I say go, you stop. Okay, those are the rules. Let's try one more time. If I say sit down, you stand up. If I say stand up, you sit down. If I say clap, you stamp. If I say stamp, you clap. If I say go, you stop. If I say stop, you go. Okay. You can watch those rules back again if you need to. But let's have a go a little bit faster ready stamp clap stamp stand up sit down stand up Okay, everyone, we are finished. If you want to try that game at home, maybe your family could help you and play with you. So remember, the rules are opposite to what I say. Have a good time. Hi, everyone. It's time for our second game. This game I like to call categories. It's called categories because you have to think of lots of words from 
a category. Let me give you an example. If I say fruit, I could say banana, apple, orange, cherry, melon, all lots and lots of different types of fruit. Or a different category could be colours. I could say yellow or red or green. Okay. What makes this game tricky is that we have to do a rhythm at the same time. So, our rhythm is this. Tap your knees. Clap your hands. Click one hand. Click the other hand. If you can't click your fingers, that's okay. You can just pretend. So let's do that rhythm again. Clap your, uh, tap your lap. Clap your hands. Click. Click. Let's do it a little bit faster. Tap. Click. And again. One more time. Brilliant. That's our rhythm. Then we have to think of as many words as we can to say in the rhythm. I choose the category types of weather. Okay. Snow. Rain, fog. Oh, I couldn't think of one in time. So we choose a different category. Ready? Our category is types of clothing. Hat, shoe, trainers. Top, shirt, coat, dress. Okay, that's enough. So, you can play that game with your friends and family. You can take it in turns to say a word. So, first your turn, then somebody else's turn, then your turn, then somebody else's turn. Okay, it's a really good game to play when you're sat at the dinner table sometimes. Okay, have fun. Hello everyone. Here's an activity to try at home. Think of your favourite character from a book or maybe from a programme that you watch on the television. I would like you to draw a picture of that character. You could use colouring pencils or paints or whatever you have at home. I then want you to think about what does that character say? And I'd like you to draw some speech bubbles. Once you've drawn your picture and drawn the speech bubbles, that tell you what the character says. Maybe you could bring the character to life. So, here's an example. If Superman said, I'm not a bird, I'm not a plane, I'm Superman. You could practice saying what Superman says. Maybe you could find a costume. What does Superman wear? Red pants. He has a cape. So you could find things in your house to help you become the character. You could choose whatever character you like best. Have fun! Hello everyone, it's time for our third and final game. It's called 
Silly Banana. I'm sure lots of you have played this game with me at school, but here's a reminder, just in case. I will say an emotion. You are only allowed to say one word, and that word is banana. You have to say banana with lots of different emotions. So, let's have a go. If I say angry banana, you go banana, banana, banana. I hope you looked really angry. <laughs> My next emotion is a scared banana. <gasps> Banana, oh, banana, 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 a scared banana. My next emotion is a tired banana. Banana, oh, banana. My next emotion is an in love banana. Banana, ah, oh, banana, 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 ah, oh, banana, oh, banana. My final banana is a silly banana. <gasps> banana, banana. Woo! Banana! 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 <laughs> Silly banana. Okay, I hope you had fun. Thank you! Okay everyone, it's time to practice our slow breathing. Breathe with my counting. Breathe in for four, three, two, one. Breathe out, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, four, three, two, one. Breathe out, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, four, three, two, one, and out. Okay, everyone, that is the end of drama. I'm going to sing goodbye. If you'd like to sing with me, great. Ready? Goodbye, 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 I'll see you soon. I say goodbye, 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 I'll see you soon. I say goodbye, 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 I'll see you soon. I say goodbye and I thank you. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon for more drama. <laughs>